Scorpio Moon, how are you? I want to thank you guys so much for uh, spending your time with me. And thank you again for um, all of your uh, positive energy, your love, your support. I send it all right back to you. We're here to go over your moon sign message, okay? So for all my Scorpio moons out here, this is going to be the message for you covering mid-March to mid-April of 2021. Um, let's go ahead and get right into it. Let's uh, ask Spirit for guidance. Spirit, angels, guardians, guides, help us to see and understand what you reveal so that we can heal. Your wisdom and your guidance are welcomed here. Lead us to good choices, growth, peace, and no fear. Bless us with the knowledge of truth and light and the courage to always do what's right. Thank you. Scorpio Moon, what is the strongest message that you need to hear? Mid-March through mid-April 2021. Scorpio moon, mid-March, mid-April 2021. What are the energies? All right. Yep, that's it. Okay. We have card number 36. It's the 12th house, escape. All right. So Scorpio moon, um, hmm. Interesting energy. Interesting. Scorpio Moon, I feel like a lot of you could be... Spirit... Okay, Spirit wants me to go ahead and get it out of the way. A lot of you... Um, I get uh, self-medicating. Okay? Maybe trying to um, kind of escape reality a little bit. Um... I feel like with this this 12th house energy, it, it just makes me feel like um, for some of you, uh, you may, like things may be coming, like think issues or things may be coming to a head or to a close. Um, and for some of you, you're not able to really deal with reality 100%. Um, so, you know, you kind of, uh, kind of escape into, into your mind, into your psyche. Um, others of you, this is just where spirit is saying during this time, for some of you, you may just need to come out of your shell and, and just kind of maybe escape, uh, get, uh, you know, get out, get some sun, go traveling, take a, a vacation, you know, um, some of you may have that coming up really, really, really soon, or at least maybe sometime during March, spring. I mean, March, spring, March, April. <laughs> so this could like, this could be spring break for some of you guys where you're just taking time to really just escape, uh, you know, the reality of having to go to work or, or the, just, you know, the regular day to day reality that you have, right? It's just a chance to be able to, to get out. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull the next card. Okay. So the card we have here is the Seder, Revelry and Indulgence, <laughs> Scorpio. This is an interesting energy. Um, you know, Scorpio, this energy really suggests to me that, for, yeah, for some of you, again, this is where you're like overindulging in... Um, you know, maybe self-medicating or, you know, you're, or, or you're older, overindulging in just, you know, certain things that just may take you out of your reality. So it doesn't necessarily have to be drugs, right? But it could be, um, you know, you know, just doing too much of something, you know, just at, but you're, you're creating a distraction for yourself to not have to deal with your actual reality. All right. So you know, actual examples escape me right now, but it doesn't necessarily have to be things that could automatically be assumed as something negative, okay? This could be where you're just taking uh, an unhealthy amount of time in, in one area and indulging in that, 
Others of you, this is where you may be doing, like I said, the extra partying, trying to escape your reality. Um, I feel like the message here is just pretty plain Scorpio moon. Okay. Um, you, there's a lot of interest here in the pleasure of it all. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some tarot. Now, if the messages do resonate to you, let me know in the comment box below, okay? I love it when you guys send me comments and, and let me know if, you know, if this is actually saying something to you. If the messages don't resonate to you, then that's okay. You know, maybe it just doesn't resonate yet. All right. Scorpio Moon, just give me a second here. Okay. Scorpio Moon, I get the sense that something may not be fair. Okay. In whatever reality that you're dealing with, you feel that something isn't fair. And I feel like you feel that you, it's, and, and, and it's like you can't even really speak about it. The only thing that you can do is just kind of feel it. Um, I get the message, I get the feeling that you, uh, you have been trying to vocalize this or you have been trying to do certain things to show that um, maybe trying to stand up for yourself, stand your ground, or, you know, at least you know, have some communication in this. So you're not just like, you know, letting things happen to you. Like, it's like you're trying not to let things happen to you. Um, but yeah, there's just something that's just not quite a balance. I feel like maybe um, for some of you Scorpio moons, uh, during this time, I feel like you may, um, it may be a, a family situation, okay? It may be a family situation. It may be about money. It may be about inheritance. I feel some um, some tugs there. Maybe there's a certain standard that you have to live up to all the time, Scorpio Moon. And so, um, you know, you try to escape your reality uh, in that way. But what I am getting the feeling right now, though, is as well, is that... Um, when you do, like, when you do escape your reality or when you do go to, um, you know, wherever you go when you're not dealing with your issues now, okay, it's you're in a place where you're able to live out your dreams. You're in a place where things don't affect you. You're in a place where, you know, you're heard, you're in a place where you can make choices that are going to lead to your betterment. So this is telling me, Scorpio Moon, that like, you know, you already have the vision of how you want your life to be. But the, the issue here may be actually dealing with, you know, doing the work of dealing with those issues so that you can make them better. And I feel like um, when you look at it, it's like, it's just really daunting to you. You know, it's just, it's just, it just seems like so much to tackle, you know, but you have all the hidden information that you need, right? Like with the high priestess here, this energy, this energy is letting me know that like you can see. Okay. So even though, you know, even though you're, you know, uh, trying not to experience the certain reality that you're in right now, you know, you still know what's going on. Okay. Um, 
I also get the feeling that maybe you could be afraid. Some of you may be afraid of um, certain positive things happening to you because it just is so unfamiliar. You may have been dealing in unfair situations for so long. Okay. I really feel like this is a family situation. Maybe you haven't been always treated right in your family. Um, maybe uh, a particular important family member has, or or the family as a whole has not uh, appreciated you. Um, those are just the messages that I'm getting here for you, Scorpio Moon, and that you're going to be dealing with during this time that you may have already be dealing with now. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the card under the deck. The card under the deck is the Nine of Wands. Um, you know what? Wow. The Nine of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Five of Pentacles. Listen, the thing is, is that honestly, I was only going to pull the Nine of Wands, but, but I saw all of this as well, and I couldn't ignore it. This Nine of Wands, this Three of Swords, and this Five of Pentacles is the driving force behind the reasons why you take things in, like, in excess, you know? Um, you know, you're, you're still looking back on all of the things that have hurt you and disappointed you. Um, you're still looking back at all the times where you felt alone and outcasts, you know, and these were people that you loved, that you were supposed to have trusted your family. Okay. And so that makes complete sense to me as to why you don't want to be where you are all the time or most of the time. And I'm not saying this is how you're going to feel all the time, but this is definitely a wave of energy that may be coming over you guys. All right. Um, this, this, uh, I'm fighting myself here because this energy is just so heavy. Um, I want to, I want to pull, I want to pull another card. I don't like leaving stuff on a negative note. Spirit, you know what? Let's pull from Oracle. Spirit, please allow us to see the energy that Scorpio uh, will most likely need to get through this time. Scorpio moon. Okay, let's see here. Okay. We have Mercury, mind. All right. Mercury, mind, card number three. So we have, oh, and look, we have another three there. So Scorpio moon, um, yeah, this this time frame is going to be a very particular um, or peculiar time frame for you where, you know, it may feel a little down. You may feel good, but it's temporary. You know, um, it's, it's, it's really about you. I feel like you, your perspective of things, sorry, my chair is so squeaky. <laughs> yeah, your, your perspective um, of, about what you're going through, I feel for a lot of you is very warped. All right. Um, I think that you feel like it is going to be too, like I said earlier, too much hard work for you to work through these issues like, you know, with a clear mind. But instead of doing that, I feel like it's like you'd rather just, you know, no, I'd rather just party or I'd rather just distract myself or I'd rather just I don't want to deal with that right now. You know, I don't I don't want to go home to that, you know. Um. I think it's just more of a mind over matter situation. Yes, it's a, it's 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 a lot to deal with. It's heavy energy, but but you're the only one that can do it, Scorpio Moon. And I know that you can, and I know that you know these are some pretty rough energies that you may be um, you know having at this at this time. Okay. So Scorpio Moon, let me know how that works out for you all in the comment box below. I'm so sorry that this is such an intense reading. Um, but, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's like that, you know, sometimes it's just intense like that, you know, <laughs> um, hit the like button uh, make sure you share and spread the message farther. And if you'd like to, please subscribe. Scorpio Moon, it's been real and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care.